Imagine this. You're starving. You smell dinner cooking. The aroma fills the air, making your mouth water. You can almost taste the delicious meal that's being prepared. You rush to the table, stomach rumbling, anticipation building with every step. You can hardly wait to dig in. But when you lift the lid, the plate is empty. Disappointment, right? Your heart sinks and you feel a wave of frustration wash over you. That's what the no content file found error feels like online. It's like expecting a feast and finding nothing but an empty plate. You click a link, excited to see what's there. Maybe it's an article you've been wanting to read or a video you've been eager to watch. But instead of a website, you get that frustrating message, no content found. It's like a door slamming shut in your face. It's like the internet is playing a cruel joke. You feel confused, annoyed, and maybe even a little bit betrayed. But don't worry, this isn't some unsolvable tech mystery. There are ways to fix this, and it's not as complicated as it might seem. We're going to break this error down, understand why it happens, and learn how to fix it. Whether you're a tech novice or a seasoned pro, you'll find the solution. Think of this as your guide to navigating those empty plates on the information superhighway. By the end of this, you'll be equipped to handle this error with ease and confidence. So, let's dive in and turn those empty plates into a satisfying feast of information. Ready? Let's get started. So what does no content file found actually mean? Let's simplify. Websites are built with code. This code lives in files on a server. When you type in a web address, you're asking that server to show you a specific file. No content file found means the server couldn't find the file you requested. It's like asking for the last piece of a puzzle and finding out it's missing. The picture is incomplete. Your browsing experience is interrupted. One common cause of this error is broken links. Think of links as bridges connecting different parts of the web. Sometimes those bridges collapse. Maybe the website owner moved the file without updating the link. Maybe the page was deleted entirely. Whatever the reason, clicking a broken link leads you to that dreaded no content file found message. Sometimes the error isn't the link itself, but the file it's pointing to. Imagine you have a book on your shelf, but someone accidentally moved it. When you go to grab it, it's not there. The same thing can happen online. Website owners might reorganize their files, rename them, or even delete them accidentally. When your browser tries to access that file, it's like looking for that missing book. It's simply not where it's supposed to be. Section 5. Mistyped addresses. Typos can trip you up. We've all been there, rushing to type in a web address, only to mistype a letter or two. It seems like a small mistake, but even a single incorrect character can make a big difference. Web addresses are like street addresses for websites. They need to be precise for your browser to find the right place. A typo is like putting the wrong house number on a letter. It's going to end up in the wrong mailbox, or in this case, lead you to an error message. Section 6. Server errors. Sometimes it's not you, it's them. Sometimes, the no content file found error isn't your fault at all. It could be a problem with the website's server. Think of the server as the building where the website lives. If the building has a power outage or a technical glitch, you won't be able to access the website inside. These server errors can happen for various reasons like maintenance, overloads, or even cyber attacks. The important thing to remember is that these issues are usually temporary. The website owners are likely aware of the problem and working to fix it. Section 7. Browser Cache Issues Your browser's memory lapse. Your web browser has a memory too. It stores information from websites you visit to load them faster next time. This stored information is called the cache. While generally helpful, the cache can sometimes cause problems. Imagine your browser's cache as a messy room. If it's not cleaned out regularly, things can get misplaced or outdated. An outdated cache can lead to conflicts, making it seem like a file is missing when it's actually a problem with the stored information. Section 8. The frustration of no content file found. Getting the no content file found error can be incredibly frustrating. You're trying to access information, complete a task, or simply enjoy browsing the web, and this error throws a wrench in your plans. It's like hitting a dead end when you're in a hurry. You feel stuck, unsure of how to proceed. This frustration is amplified in situations where you need to access the information urgently, like for work, school, or important updates. Section 9. 
Troubleshooting Tips, Finding Your Way Back. In this section, we will guide you through some essential steps to help you navigate back to where you need to be when you encounter an error online. So, what can you do when you encounter this error? Don't panic, it's a common issue, and there are several straightforward solutions you can try to resolve it. There are several simple troubleshooting steps you can try. Let's go through them one by one to ensure you can get back on track quickly and efficiently. Double check the web address. This is often the first and most crucial step. Make sure you have entered the correct URL. Look for typos, especially if you copied and pasted the link. Even a single misplaced character can lead you to a completely different page or result in an error. Even a small error can lead to the wrong location. Asterisk. Reload the page. Sometimes the issue might be temporary. Sometimes a simple refresh can do the trick. Your browser might have encountered a temporary glitch, and reloading can fix it. This is especially true if the page failed to load correctly the first time. Your browser might have encountered a temporary glitch, and reloading can fix it. If the error persists, don't worry. There are more steps you can take. Clear your browser cache. Over time, your browser stores various data to help load pages faster. However, this data can sometimes become outdated or corrupted. This can resolve issues caused by outdated or conflicting information stored by your browser. Clearing the cache can give your browser a fresh start and often resolves many common issues. Try a different browser. If one browser isn't working, try another one. Different browsers handle web pages in slightly different ways. If one browser isn't working, try another one. This can help determine if the problem is with the browser itself or the website. Sometimes a website might have compatibility issues with a specific browser. This can help determine if the problem is with the browser itself or the website. By switching browsers, you can often bypass the issue and continue with your work or browsing without further interruptions. Remember, troubleshooting is a process of elimination. By systematically trying these steps, you can often identify and resolve the issue quickly. Section 10. Preventing the error, staying one step ahead. While encountering the no content file found error is sometimes unavoidable, there are steps you can take to minimize the chances of seeing it. Bookmark frequently visited pages. This ensures you have a reliable link to access them, reducing the risk of typos or broken links. Keep your browser updated. Updates often include bug fixes and security improvements, which can prevent errors and improve your browsing experience. Be cautious with links. Avoid clicking suspicious links, especially those from unknown sources. They could lead to malicious websites or broken pages, Section 11, Conclusion, Mastering the Digital Maze. Navigating the internet can sometimes feel like exploring a vast and complex maze. The digital world is filled with countless pathways, each leading to different destinations. Sometimes, it can be overwhelming to find the right path. Errors like no content file found are like unexpected detours, sudden roadblocks that can disrupt your journey. These errors can be frustrating, especially when you're in the middle of important work or research. But they don't have to bring your journey to a halt. Just like in a physical maze, there are ways to navigate around these obstacles. With the right approach, you can continue moving forward. By understanding what causes this error and learning how to troubleshoot it, you can turn these roadblocks into mere speed bumps. Troubleshooting might involve checking your internet connection, clearing your browser cache, or even reaching out for technical support. As you gain more experience and knowledge, you become a more confident and savvy internet user. This confidence allows you to tackle issues head on, without fear or frustration. Remember, even in the digital world, a little knowledge can go a long way in overcoming obstacles and reaching your destination. Every bit of information you learn adds to your toolkit, making you better equipped to handle future challenges. So, the next time you encounter that empty plate online, don't see it as a dead end. Instead, view it as an opportunity to apply what you've learned and find a solution. Don't despair. You've got the tools to find your way back to the feast of information. With patience and persistence, you can navigate the digital maze and uncover the wealth of knowledge that awaits you. The internet is a vast and ever-changing landscape, but with the right mindset and skills, you can master it. Keep exploring, keep learning, and soon you'll find that the digital maze isn't so daunting after all. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity to grow. Happy navigating!